Hi guys, Glory Hunter back already. I know, I know. Um, sometimes things just happen. Uh, I hope everyone's well and good. Um, this kind of story, if you like, or pickups literally happened um, the day after my last video when I said I was going into town. Uh, so we've got a fair few bits to get through. It's quite a, a biggish one and a really decent pickup uh, haul this time. Um, so, a friend of mine who had um, contacted me before and I had a load of that, um, what was it, the GameCube games, PS1 games, then the DS games off, um, posted on Facebook uh, that he was getting rid of a console. And it's a console we've been looking at getting for a little while. We keep looking out for cheap ones. Um, they're usually unboxed and in bad condition or what have you. Um, so we keep putting it off. Um, but he put this up in absolute mint condition. Boxed uh, with a handful of games and uh, a great price. So I jumped straight on it and said, yeah, I'll take it. I love that. Um, however, he had moved now down to London. Um, so I had to get it posted, which became a little bit of a nightmare, um, especially trying to pick it up because they always in the day the post came. Um, however, they just put a card through the door, usual parcel force way, pissed off, and left it at my local post office, which is miles away. There's probably about five post offices that are closer. Um, but anyway, managed to go get it. It's all good. Um, it didn't get damaged. Everything's fine, uh, luckily. And yeah, he packed it really well. So, Kay, if you're watching, mate, thanks again. Um, some great stuff here. So, we'll do... Yeah, we'll do it first, because then obviously we can get on to the rest of the pickup. So, the new console we have in the collection... Which a few people have said is getting quite collectible at the minute and really easy to collect for, quite cheap as you'll see in a minute. Um, is the Wii U. So we have the Mario Kart Premium Pack box Wii U. So it's the black one, the is it 32 gig? There, like I say, the box is absolutely fantastic. Everything is in there, everything was still in its bags, fully sealed. Yeah, it is absolutely spot on. So, well happy to get that. It is set up downstairs with my old TV. Because uh, the missus really wants to play it as well. She's been playing a lot of these games. Uh, we both have actually last few days. Um, I'm really getting into it. Really enjoying the Wii U. And uh, there's still a few games I really want to pick up and play on it as well. So, that'll be coming. Anyway... With the, the bundle he did meet, we also got one of the uh, controllers, the black kind of, I don't know, is it called a pro controller or whatever? Oh, I'll just turn it on by mistake. Yeah, but we've got one of those. Just threw in two Wii remotes, standard ones, and the games. So we had three, six, seven games came with it. Obviously, Mario Kart 8 came with it, because that was the uh, in with the bundle. They are all in fantastic condition. Obviously, all still got the, the manuals or bits of paper and whatever you get in. So the Wii U, this is something I wanted to ask. Is this where they started not doing manuals? Because none of them seem to have like a proper manual. But when you start a game up, it does say you can have the manual uh, digitally on the, the system. You get the kind of information booklet, the, you know, the, the old Nintendo information booklet and then some of them have an extra piece of paper regarding whatever it's a lot in the mario 8 one like that uh, just because the ones i picked up later on which you get to um i've random bits in as well so yeah mario kart 8 i've had a quick go on it then uh legend of zelda twilight princess hd so did you make did we get there was a wind wake i had off him on the gamecube before so that's that have i got this one on the way I can't remember. I've got one of the Zeldas on the Wii, uh, which is getting quite a uh, quite full back here now. The old uh, Wii collection. We nearly filled a full shelf. Double shelved it. Completely going to lose and destroy the shelf. Sorry for the seeing the back of my head. I'll have a look later. 
I don't know. I'll put it down here. Anyway, uh, Zelda, the Wind Waker HD. So we now have it on the Wii U as well as the GameCube. Hyrule Warriors, the kind of um, Zelda Link fighting puzzle game. I'm not too sure. I don't know much about this one at all. And it is all there. Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. A bit of glare off the TV. And obviously that has the extra bit of paper in there. <clears throat> Mario Party 10. There we go. I've never really played the Mario Party games. So we'll be giving it a go. And last of all, when he said this was in there, um, I did some research, and this is the edition that comes with the Amiibo card. Now, I know he likes his, obviously, Pokemon stuff. We had the Pokemon games often before, so I didn't think the card would be in it. So it's a uh, Pokemon tournament, but, and this is fantastic, mate. Um, like he, take care, he takes care of his stuff, obviously. It's got the extra piece of paper in there, and the card is in there. Still sealed, still sealed, Shadow Mewtwo Amiibo card. So that will be staying sealed. That's fantastic. That is great to have. So that will be going in the collection. So that is the bundle we got um, from a mate. Again, thanks for that. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, did me a great price on it. Uh, absolute steal, especially the condition and all the games. So on to a winner. Hmm. Already getting thirsty. So, after I knew that was kind of coming and we'd sorted it out, like I said, the next day, we were going into town anyway <coughs> to have a look at various things and what have you. And while we're in there, obviously we thought we'll have a look at the Wii U games as well. Nipped into CX first, <coughs> which I'll do. So we got, didn't find any Wii U games in there actually. They, they hardly had any. Um, but we did get two... OG Xbox games for the collection, so we'll add these in. 150, we got Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup, which aside from the first Harry Potter game, is the last one I needed, so I just need that first one, which is the uh, the kind of big hit, it carries a bit of a price. Now this is complete, but it, they also chucked in randomly a Shrek 2 manual, so I need to check my Shrek 2 uh, manual, and sort the best one out, and then we've got, I don't know, a spare. Shook him with the rest of the manuals which I've got spare. And the other one we got for four quid was Samurai Warriors. I think it's kind of like a, a Destiny Warriors type game, which I will give a go. So two more knocked off the OG collection. And then everything else we have came from game. Um, so we have two games, one outside, one inside, the kind of big super supermarket, super... Not even super, the shopping centre is the word I'm looking for. So we went into the one inside first, did we? No, we went to the one outside first and we didn't see any Wii U games on the shelf, so I assumed they'd all gone. Um, they'd got a sale on. All the kind of old and last gen is now 50% off. So that's your, your Wii U, uh, some of your DS stuff, uh, in fact all the DS stuff, the Wii, um, PS3, Xbox 360 is all 50% off. And I was looking at the prices on them and they all look, still seem quite expensive. Um, but it was actually 50% off the marked price because usually game they put stickers on to say it's marked down. In this instance they haven't. So the prices that are on the shelves, it's 50% off that price. Um, which then became quite good on some of the titles. So anyway, went to the one inside and they got quite a bit of stuff. So we picked quite a few up, and after we obviously found out that they were it was fifty percent off the marked price, uh, picked a load of stuff up, went back over to the other game, and we actually asked them if they'd got some Wii U games, and they had. They'd put them in a basket in the back. They weren't on the shop, so not many people obviously knew about them. Um, then we picked up a few more. Anyway, the first bundle of stuff we got. So Mrs. wanted this straight away. Um, so it's Yoshi's Woolly World, and this is the only one that didn't come with a manual, uh, but she wasn't for, she wanted it. Um, I think some other stores might have it, so we'll pick it up again, get the manual for it, <coughs> and we'll probably trade it in for more than what we actually paid for it. So, I've got 
the uh, the receipts here. So I'm just going to have a quick gander. So Yoshi's Woolly World, £7.48. Bargain. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This is one we will play together. Both for like the Donkey Kong games. So that was again played. And just checking because some of the stickers on might have different prices, especially ones they got out the back. So Donkey Kong, again, yep, yeah, $7.48. Crazy prices. Xeno Blade, Xeno Blade Chronicles X, um, which I have to play in the one that Gareth gave me for the Wii. Really enjoyed. So we're we'll giving that a go on the Wii U. And that was Xeno Blade with 748 as well. And then uh, one I found straight away, actually, I did want to play the sequel. Obviously, it only came out on this console, which was quite surprising. The first game came out, obviously, on the PlayStation and the Xbox, but the sequel only came out on the Wii U. Um, so that is Bayonetta 2. However, they had this version in with Bayonetta 1 and 2 in the box. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'm definitely picking that up in a nice little uh, box set. So inside, we obviously get both uh, both games fully boxed. Um, a Bayonetta doesn't come with a manual at all, but I think the guy said it doesn't. And same with Bayonetta 2, which I really look forward to playing. I can't even remember if I finished the first Bayonetta actually on the 360. So I must go back and do that. And that cost me... Where's Bayonetta? Bayonetta box set, £6.48 for both games. That's cheaper than buying either one of them on its own. And then the last one we got. The one, obviously, you have to have in a Wii U collection. I'm just going to check the price first. Sorry for my skin the top of my head. Where are you? £14.98. So even at that price, I think it's still half price of what, like, CX or anywhere sell it. It is, of course, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for under 15 quid. Absolute steal um, at the minute. So, yeah. I have played it a bit. I wanted to jump straight on it. It's a great game. So I really look forward to getting proper into that. And uh, yeah, blasting that. So that was from the first one. And then two more we picked up um, from the, the second kind of game we went to. I'm just going to check the price real quick on these. Apologies, should have got sorted before. Uh, so... The first one was 748, the second one was 648. So 748, we got Super Mario Brothers 3D World. They did have this in the first game, but it was like the kind of classics red version. But we didn't want that. But luckily we found it in the second game for the, the kind of full art one. I've lost my focus. So yeah, um the disc is in the console, so we've both been playing it and really getting into that. That's a really fun game. And the second one, the game that the missus actually really wanted the console for. She has played this before on a demo unit and really enjoyed it. I've been playing it as well, really getting into it. It is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Really good, fun little game. There we are. Um, mainly based on a little kind of island that you can move the camera around to see secret areas and move stuff around. You can use the touchpad on the Wii U to move items or rotate blocks that kind of thing so like i said that was 648 absolute crazy so bargain bargain bargains to be had i would pick up i think a few more just to flip on and trade in at cx you can make a bit of money of these just trading them in because they're that cheap um so we'll be doing that anyway that is all the way you've got for now i've been looking there's a few more that i want um it's always the bloody rare expensive ones that you really want to play so there's a project, I didn't even realise, there's a Project Zero game um, on the Wii U. It only came out on the Wii U as well. It's uh, oh, Maiden's Blackwater, Blackwater Maiden, something like that. Uh, I actually downloaded the demo and started to play it. It's quite good. I do like the Project Zero games, but it's like 80 quid upwards. It's crazy. There's a collector's edition as well. It's like £100 upwards, I think, on Amazon. But we'll look out for it. Um, it looks like one of the the biggest heavy hitters on the console, I think. Um, I don't know that much about the Wii U. I have uh, had a quick blast through the games and got some ideas of other ones I do want to pick up and play. Um, 
So yeah, anyway, other games we've got cheap in the sale, making the most of it while they're cheap. Uh, knock a few items off. So we found one Wii game. Um, it was up at two ninety nine, I think. So one pound forty nine we paid for this. Uh, Pitfall, the big adventure. The missus like the look tired of it. It looks similar to the one we've got on the PS two. It does contain uh, the original Pitfall and Pitfall two as a bonus on there as well. That's one more for the Wii collection. And we've got a DS game as well. Kingdom Hearts Recoded. So, another Kingdom Hearts game. I'm not sure if it's just a remake of the first game or if it is kind of a um, sub-story to it. I don't know. I don't know much about it at all. Um, but yeah, give that a go. That was, I mean, stick it at 7 99 was it? Half of that price. Yeah, three ninety eight, three pound ninety eight, absolutely crazy. So we have a few uh, three hundred and sixty games. What I've been looking at for a while. I know there's two versions of this, but this is the one they had. It was quite cheap. Uh, Dragon's Dogma on three hundred and sixty. So this is the one where you can make what's called pawns, and you can send them to other people's games, or you can download other people's pawns to play in your game. Um, I have played, I think, a demo of it. It seemed all right, so we'll give that a go. That was because none of these are stickers, because I think they just got them out the back. Obviously, multiple copies. Uh, Dragon's Dog was one pound forty nine. So yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. Then we have a load of the Armored Core series. So I remember playing Armored Core on the PS One, and we're playing. A, I think it was a demo. Me and my friend played the hell out of it, just making your own mech shooting each other, blasting stuff up. It was quite good. So they had three Armored Core games on the 360. I've not played any of them, so I don't know what they're like, but that's so cheap. Just picked them up for the collection and to give a go. So we've got Armored Core for answer. All full. Um, that one, because I think they were different prices. So it doesn't say. One of them was... Okay, so it's half six. So that was a quid, 99p. And this one was 99p as well, Armored Core 5. And these are in immaculate condition. The manuals and everything, absolutely pristine. And then uh, 148 or 149, whatever it is, uh, £1.50. Armored Core 5 Verdict Day. So this was it, a little bit more. That's got a big, thick, chunky manual for a 360 game. So yeah, three of them to give a go. And the last one, which um, absolutely steal for the price, was, I want to find it, yeah, 398 pounds 98 Akai Kata, Katana. So a few people have mentioned this. So I'll give it a go. It's kind of a, I think, a side-scrolling shooter. Supposed to be really good. This one actually didn't come with its manual, but it was so cheap. I just picked it up anyway. I'll try and source a manual. Can always do a quick swap in CX or something. So that's that one. Then we have move on to the PS3. Some of these were from one game, some from the other. Um, the one game that I did get, which was full retail, uh, brand new. Uh, been looking out for this for a while. It had gone down in the sale. Gone cheap. It was twenty nine ninety nine, so thirty quid. It is the addition of light of Dragon Quest Eleven: Echoes of an Elusive Age. So again, quite a few people raving about this. So we'll definitely give this a go. I'm just going to hide my code for my items because I've not used them yet. But yeah, there's a code in there for items. There's that, and it does come with a reversible cover. So you've got like a classic Dragon Age cover in there. And I'll see the new style cover art on there as well. I'll just drop the case. Put my disc back in. And yeah, because I obviously bought it retail, we get some extra items. Uh, supplicant, healer, seed of skill three. Three of those. Um, just some bonus DLC to you, so that's quite nice. And then the rest of these are PS3 games, all pre-owned obviously, um, ridiculously cheap. So just going to knock a few out for the collection.
when I find the prices, that is. Okay, so two I got from that store. The first one I got was one, what? Nah, just double check that, £1.99. Uh, a game I have on the 360, fully complete, got 1000G, really enjoyed it. So I wanted to get it again to play through again. Um, Mini Ninjas, really underrated game. This is a fantastic game. The graphics are awesome, the gameplay play is awesome. You control a host of Mini Ninjas. So little ninja dudes, each with their own kind of weapon and skill set. Um, so like the big guy with a big hammer can smash stuff. Uh, one guy, I think, can hide or turn invisible. Another guy can run really fast, climb walls. Um, I think one has a flute that can summon animals and things like that. Uh, it's been a while since I played it, um, but really thoroughly enjoyed this game. It's worth picking up, especially for how cheap it is at the minute. Um, so I'm going to have fun going through that again. Then uh, for 99p, I think it is, due to the sticker, 99p, again, a game I haven't have completed, uh, but I don't have this version of the game, so I'll pick it up on the PS3 uh, so I can play through it again. 99p, it is the gold edition of Resident Evil 5. Now, I know a few people say from this game and 6, the Resident Evil series started to lose its way or change. Now, I didn't mind the game. What I didn't like, and what everyone hates, is the character Sheva. Bloody useless, especially as an AI character. Just gets in the way, doesn't do what you want it to do. Um, but playing co-op, it is a fun game to play through co-op. I've completed it with a friend on the 360. I had a lot of fun. Obviously, this is the Gold Edition, so it comes with all the add-on packs. So we've got the DLC of the extra levels, uh, Lost in Nightmares, Desperate Escape. We've got the Versus mode, the Mercer's Union. The, all the extra figures that you could collect, costume packs 1 and 2, so all the extra costumes. Um, so yeah, we'll go through that again, like my Resident Evil. So uh, get a few more of those in the collection. Speaking of which, this will, video should be going up the day after I did my live stream. Hope everyone who joined in, if you did, enjoyed it, going through that demo. That's later on tonight for me, so I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, it was yesterday for you guys. Hmm, inception. Uh, okay, so... The only other thing we got from that one was the 49p. Pick this up just for the case. I already have the game normal. Uh, we got the steel book of Killzone 3. Hasn't got the slip, but we got the steel book for 50p all day long. Absolutely. So pick that up just for the steel book. And then the last two we got were back at the other one. So let's find those. 49p, 99p. So, 99p, uh, House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut on the PS3. I think we have it on the Wii. And I was really shocked at this. So, not only is it complete, we've got the 3D specs still sealed in there as well. So that is amazing. It's in great condition as well. The manual's proper flat, brand spanking new. And sealed 3D glasses, I am well happy with that. I didn't even think they'd come in it. Um, so yeah, we'll give that a go on the PS3. 99p, absolute bargain. And for 49p, 50p for a game, a PS3 game. Um, one I've been looking at for a while. It is Genji Dades of the Blade. So looking at it, again, I think it's that kind of Samurai Warriors, Destiny Warriors style game where you just... Hacking the hell out of a load of dudes. I've not played it yet. Um, 50p, 50p. Just can't go wrong. So, yeah. Quite a few bargains to be had at the minute down at game. Uh, I know some people don't like them. I've gone off them. But when you can find stuff like that, then they're selling them as retro. But yeah, all your last gen. Get it now while it's cheap. Stock up. Uh, I'm certainly going to visit a few of the games in my area and see what I can get. So, Probably have some more videos coming up soon. Now, the only other few bits we got from the game are gaming related, but not games. I'm be quick. I've got a couple of minutes left on this video. So we've got another Totaku figure. They've gone all gone up now, back up but cheaper than normal. So a tenner, nine ninety nine. However, this one they still add up at seven ninety nine. So pitch a little while it was still cheap. It's Horizon Zero Dawn, The Watcher, which is number thirteen. 
So one of the little mechs, the little what you do from Horizon. And obviously we've got all the information on the back. So there's one more for the collection. I've seen Marcus Phoenix is out now for Gears of War, so I want to pick that one up. And the other thing we got is they were selling the new Fallout um, Mystery Mini sets. They've got them on sale as well, four ninety nine. So five are each. Uh, they'd only got four left, so I picked them all up in the box and they gave me the box. So we've got the PSO box for uh, the Mystery Minis as well. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but a bit of POS is always good. Um, and yeah, we picked up four, so I try and get through them real quick. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to have enough time, so I'll show you the what's in the set, and then we'll have a jump cut to what's in them. So this is the set. They are all one in twelves, which is fantastic. Good chance of getting them all. Say we've got four, um, so we'll see what we've got. Camera's going to run out, so jump cut. Okay, we're back. We've got four mission minutes to open. From the Fallout set, um, as I've just showed you, we've got a fair few uh, kind of Pit Boy variations, a few uh, dwellers, the new Coca Cola Girl, that's pretty cool, a new armor, and a big uh, Sentinel Sentry, I think it is. Um, so, yeah, quite cheap at the minute. There's our box. We uh, open up and see which four we got. Now, we've been 1 in 12, so I would expect them all to be different. And, oh, fantastic! The first one we get. That's pretty sound. Is the new Coca-Cola girl. So that's quite unique. Yep, loving that. Like I said, they should all be different. One in 12. If I'd have seen them before, I'd have bought the whole box just to get the set. But there was only four left. So, yeah. Okay, we've got one of the uh, dwellers with the baseball bet. The female dweller. Yeah, Vault 111. Okay, cool. We've got the uh, super strong pit boy. It's the beefcake. That. Nah. Pretty cool. And our last one. Okay, from the bottom because it's loose. Our last one is okay. Uh, is it Charisma? No, I'm not sure which one this one is, but it, yeah, it's the Pit Boy. He's got his thumbs up pointing. Proper cool. Can't remember which one that is. I'm thinking Charisma, but at the same time, I'm thinking it's not. Uh, look, I don't know. If you know, let me know. I can't remember. But yeah, that's the other one we've got. So that's four down already. We'll look out for some more of these. Uh, some of the other games might have them as well, so we'll get some of them. Nice to have that bit of POS. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. I did go to a charity shop um, yesterday, actually, before work. Um, was it yesterday? No, a couple of days ago. Um, I picked a couple, a couple of bits. Um, we'll save them for another video because I'm not expecting to pick much more up. Although, like I said, I'm going to try and get some games and see what else I can get. So we'll see. I'm going to save that for another video. I think this has gone on long enough. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, guys. Uh, let me know if you've got a Wii U, what your favourite games are, and um, how your collection's getting on for it. I know that I've got a few people, I uh, think Tootie and Lewis, Wishwash, are both collected for the Wii U or going for full sets. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. I know there's not many in the set. Um, but yeah, at the minute, just getting the games I want to play and having a bit of fun with it. Really enjoy playing with it at the minute. So. Yeah, making the most of that. Um, hope you enjoy, guys. It's a like if you have. Comments down in the comment box if you've played any of these games. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.